residential road in Gresham closed for hours Wednesday afternoon as crisis negotiators attempted to contact a man who'd locked himself inside a shed on Northeast 36th Court. He barricaded himself in and then they heard multiple shots fired within the shed. The U.S. Marshals Task Force had tried to serve a warrant to Thomas Guts finding him in the backyard of a home here. When he didn't come out, they called more resources in. Roughly 50 Gresham police officers and Multnomah County Sheriff's deputies responded to the scene. And in the back is a roommate we let move into our ADU and he's just got a couple warrants that he never took care of. The people renting him the space, who asked not to be identified by name, said police told them this began after the suspect had an argument with his girlfriend. Basically it boiled over and they, um, she told them that they live with us, you know, so they came to collect on the warrant. But because of his record, they really pulled out all the stops. I mean, this is way too much. You know, he's not, a bad guy. he's not a bad guy. While U.S. Marshals were trying to arrest Guts Wednesday on a weapons related warrant, court records show he also served time for being a felon in possession of a firearm and for various drug charges dating back to 2019. We didn't know he had a warrant, so we didn't know he was in trouble. We didn't even know nothing about him. He's just a nice, quiet guy. Drives a nice new Mercedes and just needed a room for rent while he was going through a breakup with his girlfriend. Around 6 p.m., Gresham police say the situation ended without incident. After an extended period of time, about an hour though, which is not too lengthy, thankfully, uh, negotiators were able to talk with him, built a really good rapport with him, and uh, through that we're able to talk him out. He walked out on his own accord and walked uh, to the officers who were waiting. They took him into custody and thankfully uh, everything ended peacefully. Investigators say no one was hurt, including the officers on scene, as well as the suspect. In Gresham, Alma McCarty, KGW News.